Weather Now from the Emmy-winning Cakeland Weatherflex. Well, we're kind of playing watch and wait for the development of severe weather across parts of south central to southwestern Kansas. So let's look outside of the sky tracker. We've had quite a little bit of cloud cover, but some occasional sunshine, which has really helped warm us up. But as we look across western Kansas, we're going out to Garden City, just some high thin clouds, plenty of sunshine, really allowing temperatures to warm greatly. Now, as we look at the visible satellite picture, you will notice that, yeah, we started out overcast this morning, but look at all the sunshine across southwestern and now parts of south central Kansas. There's just some high thin clouds starting to drift in now, and that's really warming up the the atmosphere. Cakes Viper 3D. There are no thunderstorms occurring yet, but look at all the heat. 86 Medicine Lodge, 85 Dodge, 80 in Garden City. Now the dew point, remember this is the moisture in the air. Notice how we got a dry line between Great Bend and Dodge. Medicine Lodge to Pratt right in here and it's that dry line. We're going to keep an eye in that area to see if we can see some severe thunderstorms erupt. Breezy winds today and it's going to be gusty or overnight tonight. 17 miles an hour Wichita, 16 in Dodge. Winds gusting currently to 23 in Wichita and Medicine Lodge, 25 in Liberal. Wind gust tomorrow will be in excess of 35 miles an hour, so a very windy day. What we're watching and waiting is the atmosphere. If it develops thunderstorms, it can become severe very quickly. We're talking about a tornado threat. But we have an area in the atmosphere, a, a lid or a cap, if you will, that we've got to break through. Right now it's holding very strong. Hopefully it will hold strong. That will eliminate the severe thunderstorm threat. But we're kind of watching and waiting to see if that cap is going to erode. We'll have a complete forecast coming up later. It's 831 now. Now that well, part of the thunderstorm that produced the well-defined funnel is what's moving over towards protection. So we're thinking less now. We're not as concerned about what's going on in the vicinity of Ashland. Not seeing as strong a circulation there, but new circulation developing between Sitka and protection is going to be more of an area that uh, we are going to continue to watch. This is meteorologist Jay Prater. You're joining us for live coverage on Channel 13 KUPK of a tornado warning that's in effect for Clark County and Comanche County. Let's go back to Lanny Dean. Lanny, we're now live on the entire Cakeland Television Network. Tell us what you see. Jay, currently right now, just to let you know my position, I am uh, on one highway headed west, and I do have a very large funnel at this time, Jay. Uh, very large funnel back towards the, the area of, okay, tornado on the ground, Jay. Tornado on the ground, definite tornado on the ground near, I'm going to put it close to Sitka. Where you see that uh, the bluish green meet the red. And this is north of town now, so the good news is if you're in the city of protection, the threat uh, from this particular storm is moving away from you. Uh, but this is very strong circulation, some of the strongest circulation we have seen all night. And we have Lanny Dean uh, in that vicinity, obviously uh, chasing the storm for us where he reported a tornado on the ground earlier, then a sustained wall cloud. Wouldn't be surprised if there's uh, not another tornado on the ground. There will be one shortly across extreme western Comanche County. This is northwestern Comanche County. And as it moves to the north, tornado warning may be required for Kiowa County. So if you live in southern Kiowa County, especially southwestern Kiowa County, south and west of Greensburg, a tornado warning probably going to be coming out for you uh, fairly quickly. This is meteorologist Jay Prater along with Matt Makins. We're here in the Cakeland Weatherplex and unfortunately we're watching a very dangerous situation unfold across Weather Kiowa Makins. County. We're keeping you updated during the commercial breaks on the rest of the network, but we are live continuous on a KUPK Channel 13 for a tornado warning. Let's go over to Cakes Viper 3D. A very pronounced hook echo. Our chaser Lanny Dean reporting a very large tornado on the ground. This is about 12 miles southwest of Greensburg and it is heading towards Greensburg. As we look at the velocity signatures, this is wind blowing away and towards the radar. This is about as strong as it gets, folks. Unfortunately, very powerful thunderstorm, very strong rotation now about 12 miles southwest of Greensburg, and it's moving towards Greensburg and really doesn't show any signs of letting up. This uh, circulation is still very powerful in this thunderstorm right here. Let me give you a track on it as far as where it is in relation to the south edge of Greensburg. It's only about 10 miles to the southwest of Greensburg and it is moving in your general direction. Uh, you know I've been on cake television a few years now. I am definitely not a uh, chicken little kind of guy, but unfortunately with this very strong uh, signature on radar, this is a, a very a compelling radar signature. 
you really should think about heading down to your shelters. Uh, keep an eye on this thunderstorm as it approaches you. Now the rain and hail will reach you first, so keep in mind as far as looking through the thunderstorm and seeing the tornado if you're in Greensburg, you're not going to because it's going to be obscured by the very heavy rain and also the hail between you and that circulation. You know, so Greensburg's up here at the top of the screen and we switch over to the which way the winds blowing mode to the how hard it's raining mode. This is what we have now and you can see that very high reflectivity. What you see is that red, that is the heavy rain and hail. So you're not going to be able to visualize the thunderstorm if it's still producing a tornado. Now contact with Lanny Dean, we temporarily lost it because of the cell service in this part of Kansas. Uh, but once again, you see a very strong, very well pronounced hook echo in addition to the very strong velocity returns. And that's why if you live in Greensburg, the vicinity of Greensburg to the south, I really suggest you go down to your storm shelters. Like I said, I'm not an alarmist kind of guy, but the only thing this storm is uh, very scary. And the worst case, I'm just going to waste a little bit of your time tonight if you go down to your shelters and it turns out not to be producing a tornado. But uh, just what we're seeing here is a very scary signature. Annie, how close are you to the county line? Uh, we have passed the county line already, Jay. Okay, so you're north of the county line, and the tornado, from your vantage point, is to the east of US 183, oh, correct? Jay, very large tornado. Okay, I don't know who reported it, which we do. We have two tornadoes on the ground, Jay. Uh, we have a small, uh, well, excuse me, a, a medium, if you will, to the to my north northeast. We have a very large, very large wedge tornado on the ground that's going to be almost due north of my location. I'm going to put it about five miles, Jay, about five miles, I'm guessing, All right. uh, north, maybe five to eight miles north of my location right now, Jay. All right, Lanny, try and get in the first cam fired up if you can, and now let's go over to Darren. Darren, what do you see from your vantage point? Uh, right now, we're uh, just about ready to get on to Highway 183 to go north towards Greensburg. Um, we still have a large wedge tornado on the ground uh, to our north with possible satellite tornadoes. Um, yeah, I just saw a lightning flash that... Uh, Still, um, probably, I would say probably five miles to our north uh, is where the tornado would be located. And it has been on the ground for probably uh, 25 minutes, maybe even longer. Now, Darren, um, you said you were getting on US-183 and heading north. Uh, what cross street, how far north of the Kiowa-Comanche County line are you? Uh, we're right on the line. You're right on the line currently, and you're about to proceed northbound back behind the tornado. That's correct. And you've been watching this for quite a little while, and what did you estimate its maximum width was? Um, I would say easily a mile, um, and that's kind of being conservative. All right, let's go back over to Cakes Viper 3D, and unfortunately, the, the very scary radar signatures, uh, they continue. We go over to the, uh, the which way it's, it's blowing mode in the radar, and still indicating just very strong rotation. Now, the reports are that the tornado was on the east side of US 183, and this is uh, putting it just to the south of Greensburg now, only by about three miles or so is where we have the strongest circulation. And somewhere in the vicinity of that strong circulation, if there's a tornado on the ground, that's the location where it is going to be. This is from the National Weather Service in Dodge City. They have issued a tornado emergency. This is very rare. You see the strong hook echo. So the tornado is in this general vicinity here. You're live on cake. What do you see? Jay, Jay it's Lanny. I've got a monster, monster wedge tornado. I'm, I'm, I'm about four, four to five miles south of Greensburg. The tornado has crossed Highway 183, definitely. It's to my north, northeast. Uh, Jay, this tornado is a very big tornado. At least, at least, at least three quarters of a mile wide tornado on the ground right now. Let's go back over to Lanny Dean, who's in Greensburg. Lanny? Yes, Jay, go ahead. We are we are in Greensburg. Go ahead, Jay. And you have somebody to talk with us? Yes, yes, absolutely we do. Let me let me just kind of break this down for you. Right now, currently, Jay, we are at the western edge of the town, and we are at the motel that that used to be basically at the western edge of, of town. Right now, currently, we have uh, we have the owners with us that, that survived this tornado by going into the closet. Man, what's your name, real quick? Leela, I'm going to put Leela on the phone to do a phoner with you, uh, with you or Susan, Jay. Here she is real quick. Hi, Jay. Leela, please tell us what Hello? happened. Well, um, you know, we were watching actually Cake Channel, and I know you said, you know, the tornado is coming straight towards Greensburg, so we stayed at home until the last minute, and then the power went out. So then um, 
I was inside the closet, and then my husband came in, <laughs> and we just stayed there until it was all over. I'm so glad that y'all are okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks to you. <laughs> oh, you're very kind. But uh, so yeah. it, it came by, you got, no. you got in the closet, and so you guys are okay. And how badly did, did it damage yeah. your home? It's completely destroyed. I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that, but you guys were okay in, yeah. the, in the closet, so, so no scratches. Fine. You came out of this yeah. okay? Yes. Well, thank goodness. I'm very glad to hear that. I'm, I'm sorry that you, yeah. you've suffered the loss today, but I am so thankful that right. you were okay. Right, yeah. Well, I'm, you know, we, we were lucky because the room that we were in is the only room that's still intact. So you're I mean, you were you happened to take shelter in the closet and it was the only room left standing. That is that's truly right now, a, a yeah. blessing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we we kind of feel you know happy about that, and oh. and we love you. You know, for I mean all the news you give, especially regarding weather. I cannot thank you enough that you are all right, and I'm terribly yeah. sorry about your loss. So you you own the hotel there in town, and can you tell us how badly damaged your hotel is? It's really. Bad. I mean, there's no salvaging left. You know, it will. I mean, all the roof is blown away. All the windows are blown away. Our van is in one of our rooms, actually. Um, you know. So. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, but I'm, I'm thankful that that you're okay. And I know you got to be in a bit, of a, me, bit like, of a shock now. And it's perfectly yeah. understandable. And I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you're all right. And if there's uh, anything Lanny can help you with while he's there, if anybody, we can call for you. If you have any family members that we need to call for you and tell them that you're okay, we'll be sure and do that for you. Well, yeah, I have a daughter. She's at K-State, um, I guess, you know, and they kind of found out. So now they're trying to call us, but, you know, there's no phone contact because it's all, you know. Okay, I'll tell you so, what you do. As soon as, we finish, as soon as we finish this interview, we'll get the information for your daughter over at K-State. And we'll be sure and pass that right. to the Cake Newsroom. We will get somebody to call your daughter in Manhattan and to let them know that you are okay, all right? Right, yeah. And, and could you tell me, like, uh, further east towards Pratt, how things are out there? Yes, I can. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we're looking at the radar right now, and we'll be back out the view so yeah. everybody else at home can see, too. Uh, between you and Pratt is okay. The severe thunderstorm that okay, is okay. probably still producing a tornado, unfortunately, is bearing down on St. John as we speak. And there may be another tornado there in St. John right now, but it's okay over in Pratt. Are we getting any severe storms in Greensburg, I mean, tonight? You know, we probably... We don't have anywhere to go. I understand, and I'm very sorry yeah. to hear that. Thankfully, we've yeah. got a big break right now, which is going to help with the recovery efforts. But um, we're hopefully we need to get you some help because, yes, uh, there is a chance we could see another round of thunderstorms potentially again tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, but yeah. trust me. There's a lot of Kansas that's moving towards Greensburg and Kiowa County tonight to try to help you guys out as best as they can. I'm just yeah. thankful that you. Oh, Jay, when you said. I'm just thankful that you. Jay, are when okay. you said that this is, yeah, Jay, you know when you said that this one is really bad, you guys need to be in shelter. Yes. That's the exact moment I went in the closet. I said to my husband, you know, I'm going to go in, but you know, don't stay too long, you know, because it's coming. <laughs> And then the power went out, so he joined me afterwards, and here we are. Okay, we, we have it now, Lanny. We just brought it up. We just brought it up, so tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, right now, that's, that's the monster wedge right there, guys. That is the tornado as it was going into Greenberg. The, the light around the tornado is not lighting. That's actually power flashes as it was basically tearing Greensburg apart. A uh, very large tornado. At that point, I'm guesstimating that the tornado was close to a mile wide, three quarters to a mile, three quarters of a mile to a mile wide. Jay, about how far away were you from it when you took this? Do you know, Lanny? I'm sorry. Say again. About how far away were you when you took this? Were you on US 183 at this point? Yes, we were. We were about four miles south of Greensburg on U.S. Highway 183 looking back to the north, northeast. And I just want to let everybody know that this is actually, you went through your video and this is a freeze frame from your video, correct? That is right, yeah, this is a freeze frame from the video. Uh, as you know, and, and I've been telling everybody all night long, we, we lost available light, so, you know, you have to use lightning or power flashes to your advantage. And that's what we did, so I, I, I took the time to go through my video and, and uh, that, that's that monster tornado. 
uh, very, very, very big tornado. And, and again, uh, the light around it is not lighting. That is power flashes just as that tornado is entering Greensburg. All right, Lanny, and uh, we saw the, uh, the other video uh, that you sent us. Uh, basically, it's uh, the house in the, I mean, the car that's in the hotel, and you said that was, those, were, those were the survivors we talked to, correct? Yes, absolutely. That was the, uh, one, of the, one of the survivors that, uh, that you actually, you and I believe Susan did the phone with. That was their vehicle. Consequently, guys, underneath that vehicle, right underneath the front wheel just to the back, that's where they were hiding at. That's the closet that they were in. So uh, obviously the, the, what, what you don't see is the backside of that motel, which is actually gone now. Uh, there's, there's nothing left. So not just the roof, but uh, the entire backside. And, of course, uh, uh, this is the kind of destruction that we've seen in, in Greensburg uh, all evening long, Jay. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's, Lanny, uh, have you got any more video that you're going to send us back via the first cam? Right, we're, we're, that's what we're doing right now. We're, we're, I'm actually trying to have to stop and pull alongside the road and kind of go through it and send clips, you know, little clips at a time, you know, little small clips at, at, at a time, so to speak. And, and uh, but as soon as I can get it, just a, just a couple more minutes, I will send more video, more video uh, as, as we can. Okay, Jay. All right, Lanny, we'll let you go so you can do that. That's our Cake Land Storm Chaser, Lanny Dean. We have it now, Lanny. We just brought it up. We just brought it up. So tell us what we're seeing here. Okay, right now, that's that's the monster wedge right there, guys. That is the tornado as it was going into Greenford. The, the light around the tornado is not lighting. That's actually power flashes as it was basically tearing Greensburg apart. Uh, very large tornado. At that point, I'm guesstimating that the tornado was close to a mile wide, three-quarters of a mile to a mile wide, Jay.